All right, hello and welcome back to Sierra Unfiltered. Today, I'm having a conversation with uh, my lovely friends, Ryan and Paloma. Hello. Hi. Hi. (laughs) So Ryan and Paloma are two of my favorite people. They are incredibly funny and smart and also super talented. They're both actors. Um, And I feel like every time we get together, I'm like, I wish there was a camera rolling because this is so good. Yeah. And so that's essentially today. We're just going to let the camera roll. Um, It might get a little jumbled because we do go on a lot of tangents. Right. (laughs) Right. That disclaimer was very necessary. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So let's just let's do a little get to know you. Give us like give me the elevator. Well, not me because I already know. Right. But give the 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 viewers like the elevator pitch of who who is Ryan? Who is Paloma? Okay. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hi. (laughs) Um, I live in L.A. with Paloma. Um, and I grew up in San Diego. I actually met Sierra doing theater years ago when we were in high school. That's when we became friends, and mm-hmm. we've been friends ever since. And I also met Paloma doing theater as well. And uh, TBT, back to hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> we were like 15 years old. We were Aww. such like yeah, little babies. babies. And I am also from San Diego. I'm born and raised in the U.S., but uh, I grew up with my first language being Spanish. My mother being from Mexico, and uh, we can get into the whole romantic telenovela that is my parents falling in love <laughs> another time, <laughs> but um, fell in love with my father here, and so now I luckily have uh, this culture, and I speak Spanish, and but it gets me in trouble a little bit sometimes because I tend to speak in Spanish, so you can catch me stuttering in both languages, <laughs> and um, I love spicy things, and I'm a Scorpio. Very important. Okay, so you guys are both into astrology. Very much. I am not into astrology to the point that I know literally nothing. And I will get comments all the time being like, oh, you know, oh, you and Steven are both, it's Aquarius or a." is that how you say it? Aquarius? Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're both Aquarius. See, not, like, not knowing how to say it. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I literally know nothing. I'm so sorry. Um, we have to read like the traits or something about like an Aquarius, so she gets like, yeah, right, right. So like, right. If, when I say I'm an, what does that tell you about me? If I said I'm an Aquarius, and you go, oh, right. What, what is that? Well, I don't know a lot of Aquariuses, Aquari, Aquarii, Aquarii. <laughs> Aqu- you're right. I don't know a, a lot of y'all. <laughs> but from what I do know, one of my favorite um, celebrities, Miss Megan Stallion, mm. is an Aquarius, and I oh. love her. So it, I don't know. It's just giving a question. Are Aquarius water signs, fire? I mean, it earth? has aqua in it, so it's got to be water, right? Yeah, it's a water. Isn't it water? You're an air sign, baby. Oh, oh it's air, air sign. Air. Wait, oh, Cancer is the other water. Wait, I'm so helpful. So is it like really Avatar, helped. where it's like water, fire, earth, air? Yes. Long ago, the four yes. nations lived together in harmony, yeah. and then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. So you can do that, but you can't pronounce Aquarius? <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing, I, I we actually, we had this discussion off camera, but it was so good, I want to bring it back up. We, um, we really got into talking about body image in theater and how growing up as actors really changed the way that we looked at ourselves and feeling like we had to fit an archetype and I feel like you guys just had so many really really like profound things to say about it and so I just I just want you to just go just take it away (laughs) I actually had this realization the other day like I think that theater and Broadway but theater just in general like has this misconception that it is so inclusive and like everyone because the 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 losers and the dorks and the dweebs they all come together and they sing in harmony and they do the whole thing which is true but that doesn't erase the racism the fat phobia the transphobia the, all of it like yeah and that's it's underlying all the time it is and i feel like it's it, it's kind of that facade of inclusivity yes. and i feel like the best way i've heard it put is like acceptance is inviting people to come inclusivity is asking them to dance Mm, and that good. in theater they it, they're not saying you can't come to this you can't be right. part of this but, but they're not asking they're not you asking them. you yeah yeah and I think that all that is always underlying yeah and you can and you can see that like you can see it all the time especially now when they're like oh the first black Glinda the first black whatever like why literally 24 hours ago wh- literally 24 hours ago why are we like why is that still a thing and why do you get to have like a badge of honor for yeah. doing that it's like it's performative a little. It's it's almost like they they think they want praise and good press for we had the first black uh, Jean Valjean, the right. first black Glinda, and it's like, but why is that just happening now? Right. You know. And why is that your headline? 
Yeah. You're so right about that. Because you whole, can just cast them. No, that's so perf- – I didn't even think about the performativeness. And, like, obviously the ticket sales that you're like, our first ever Black Glinda. Guess right. what? Everyone wants to see that because that's what we want. Exactly. Like, Especially, like – as a black actor, I'm like, oh my God, I finally see myself, right? And I get all excited and I want to do the thing. But then I have to take a step back like, yes, and I can still want that. But like, it's not for you to make me, like, like you're trying to get me excited to make it feel like I'm welcome here when that's not really the case. It, it's so awful how that trickles down to literal community theater, kids oh theater. God, yeah. Like the the homophobia and the racism and the fat phobia that exists in youth theaters is so astounding to me. And I, I mean, when I was growing up, I was, you know, pretty mid-size. I remember a director telling me that I either needed to gain weight or lose weight because I was too thin to be the funny fat friend and I was too big to be the ingenue. And I remember like going home and, and trying to decide which I wanted to be and how horrible. I was like right. 13. Oh my God, that just broke no, my that's heart. Horrible. That's yeah. terrible. Oh yeah. my goodness. That's terrible. And it's disguised as like, well, it's just your, like, just find your type. Like, mm-hmm. this is just how it is. It's your characters. Like, you just need to figure out, like, where you belong. And they always shape it in the way where they're, like, the casting, at least. And where they're, like, well, it's just, you just don't look like the typical of what mm-hmm. we're used to. So, the, so they won't understand. I'm, like, right. you, they won't understand if they're a different color. Like, I don't, yeah. under, like, <laughs> also, the, the, the plot, that doesn't have to do, if it doesn't have to do with the plot, you know, yeah. I'm, like, yeah. Right. And that, my, <laughs> my full argument all the time is, like, this is already fake. We're all here agreeing. <laughs> That she this comes isn't down real. on a bubble. Like this isn't also like anything with like animals too. I'm like, <laughs> what what are we talking about now? Because now you sound silly that a black girl can't play this or this and that. Like, yeah, we're animals, talking animals. Let's remember Let, let's what we're doing. Yeah, here. we're already suspending disbelief here. Yes, is it that hard to believe? Right. that Glinda can be black. Right, <laughs> but right. but Professor, what's his name? Professor Dillamond is half goat. Right, right, and that's so fine. That's fine. That's that's, that's believable. Yeah, believable. Question. Have you guys been in a show where, uh, like, West Side Story or Hairspray in a predominantly white area where they have had kids spray tan or other oh, things to play in the Latina whites. or Don't. black characters? Because I have yeah. multiple shows that I've seen. Uh, yeah. And I, it's, yes. it's <laughs> awful, and I feel bad for the kids because that is on the adults and the directors to say, we are in a predominantly white area. Yeah. Let's not do In the Heights. Yep. <laughs> yep. I, every production of Hairspray that I've ever done. Every single one. And I've been in it four times. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also. That's, well, a, that's, that's telling. A that's thing. telling. That is telling. Like, I've done it four times. And I've done it every time. One, because I'm like, well, I can get cast in this. And I might get a big role in this one. Right. Yeah. So because I like, you're leading, you have your leading lady have, moment. Yeah, and you I get to sing. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. And I think, like, a lot of times it does fall on the kids of color or or just people of color in general to like hey like maybe we shouldn't and we but we have to tiptoe around because we don't want them to think that we're calling them racist or or like you know what i mean we have to be like oh so maybe if we did it like this and maybe we or we just end up saying nothing because we're like well well and that goes for the same thing i've heard so many times in work tracy's where they're like oh well she's we'll just put it like a fat suit on her or something yes yeah. oh my goodness like when why you really are we just don't need to do why that are well we and it's like that? how many roles are there for plus size women right like that's the like one main one right and you're really you can't find one fat actor to do it like right. really and also why can't we just have fat actors that their whole story isn't, isn't about that, them being fat yep Agreed. they just live other lives and you know what i think that's where it goes back to like broadway is choosing what shows go on broadway and become popular and right, then right. go down to the schools five years later ten years later right, right. Yeah. if all the stories like you were talking about how hairspray is the one show that you know will have black roles but that show is a still centered on a white person it's right. about tracy we right. need shows that are featuring black characters as the lead and also fat characters as the lead right. without them just being like the side plot right you know? right and also like i was just saying like have them have other narratives other stories like we don't have to the whole story doesn't have to be about like if a black person is the lead it doesn't have to be about racism like we don't have to only yeah. talk about that as if that's not already like real life <laughs> right let's like move on from that and talk about other things yeah yeah 
and my struggles with casting is that I never look Latina enough, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. And I have lost roles to people who don't even speak Spanish, but they are brown. And they're like, sorry, that's what uh, the, the Latin market is. And that's what they're used to seeing. So, so sorry, which is tough because obviously Latin people are not only brown, they're white and black with colored eyes, blonde even so it's really hard when you come here and I'm like trying to audition for the Latin role West Side Story and they're like no Mm. you can't and I'm like singing Puerto Rico and like trying to convince them as much that I am Latina and I'm trying to speak Spanish and I'll say my name and everything but if I don't say my name like hi my name is Paloma Malfavon they see me as you know like super white and they're like nope can't have it and so I'm just constantly find myself trying to prove to them or explain to them like I am Hispanic please believe that I am and you know it's at the end of the day what they say oh so sorry that's you you're not the look and those stereotypes are damaging for the actors but they're also damaging for the kids who are growing up watching that yeah who only get to see that one type reflected in the media growing up I just kind of felt like i I didn't really belong or I belonged like in the background. Like it was always secondary. Mm. Always. Like and in and in my head it wasn't an issue. Yeah. Because that's what it that's just what it what it was. So I was always like, Oh, I could play this best friend part or I can, you know, do this, this and I can dance. So I'll just be in the back and like do my thing and it was and I always knew that I wasn't able to like be the alpha buzz or be the, you know, whatever. And do you feel like you you almost convince yourself, like, this is the type of roles I want to play? Yes. And then you realize maybe as you grow up, actually, I, I think I could have been the ingenue. Absolutely. I think I could have been this or that and whatever characters you felt like you were not allowed to play. Yeah, I still struggle with that yeah. all the time. Like, I will literally audition for the role that I think that I'm going to get based off of, like... Instead of the role you instead want. Instead of the role I want. Yeah, and it's not even... And I don't even think about it as a role that I want. Because yeah. it's like, why would I think that? Yeah. It's not an option. So let's bypass all that and go for what is regular. You know Behind I mean? the camera, oh Je- Jess just brought up the whole idea of like, you know, the TikTok thing of like, oh, you're the main character. And that you literally embody main character energy. Like, right? Oh my God. Like, you're yeah. the most main character person <laughs> I know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you. I, I appreciate that. And yet you, that. You, you don't get to play the main character on stage or on screen i do it in my real life yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think well moving out of San Diego especially like living in New York and then now living in LA like I just have decided that I have to live my life yeah in a way that best suits me and that I walk in with confidence because if I don't it's not it's not gonna be given to me and it's not gonna I'm not gonna be able to find it other places right. so I just have to like be that So another one of my like favorite conversations that we had that I just want to rehash on the podcast, (laughs) um, we had all talked about the idea of how we grow up kind of feeling um, the the not like other girls girl thing. I I've joked about on on my vlog channel of like how I used to be like a pick me girl, and I I think one of the things that I've really had to unlearn in in my 20s is like it's not bad to be like other girls and that that is a a good thing you know totally it's just unfortunate because boys men will say oh well girls you know and anything girly or anything that girls enjoy or girl joy is like kind of always frowned upon you know you'll see tiktoks or anything on instagram it's like girls uh, trying to get ready on the day out and they're filming each other but we're just having a good time or we're just giggling or being girls and it's just always like "Mm," you know yeah women women a girl yeah Yeah. and 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 that it goes under the pick me girl because we were taught that you wanted to be that girl because we wanted to to be liked yeah. because that's something so natural that we want to be included and we want to be liked but but you also don't we're trying to... to be that girl that you guys want to date so i am so sorry that now i'm trying to do the thing that you want you're like oh you little pick me i'm so sorry i'm so sorry. what is it then I want a girl that can just throw on a baseball cap and walk out. I'm like, okay, so you want to date your friend, bro? Because which is it? You be, and it's true because right. sometimes you'll hear guys in the same sentence. They're like, oh, she looks so hot with those heels and da 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 da. But honestly, I just want a girl that like doesn't want to wear makeup. And I'm like, so which is it? And and those yeah. attitudes still live in my head, even though like yeah. oh my God, on yeah. the surface, I'm like, oh, I've I've worked through that. I figured it out. But it was it was only a year ago that I realized that. Like, I was only shaving because I felt like I was supposed to. And why did I feel like I was supposed to? Because 
some men don't like body hair. Right. You're not the person I'm married to. He doesn't care. Right. So I'm like, who am I doing this for? Right. Oh, boy. Right. If, right? And, no, yeah. and there's, I'm sure there are a million things like that that I still have to work through that are because I – so much of the way we grow up is looking for male approval. Absolutely. 100%. I was going to say, when you're talking about hair, I, am, Latina, I am struggle. I am blessed with, let's say that, yeah. I am yes, blessed you are. with with the thick, hairy arms. And so growing up, I would always, like, you know, my boyfriend, I remember at the time, literally brought up, he was like, your arms are, like, really hairy. And he would, like, t- and he was like, I could see his reaction to right. it. And I've already heard about, like, mm. ha- like, body hair. And I was already like, oh, my gosh. But I wasn't even shaving my legs yet. So I was like... Oh my goodness. So I like got some stuff like my mom stuff to like remove it. And then I was like prickly instead. And then, oh, and then he was like, ugh, you're all prickly. And I'm like, great. So now I'm hairless. I'm prickly <laughs> or I'm, or I'm ugly with hair. I can't yeah, win, right, you know? Right. And that's how this, this limbo feels like yeah. you're, you're, you, you never win. You're either too girly or not girly enough. Why are you obsessed with pink? I said, I, I pretended I didn't like pink for oh years. My Isn't that I sad? That was the biggest pink. trouble in my life. Yep. I, I was love like, pink. I never, I pink like ugh, ugh. yeah because ugh. girls girl, love and, and you know who, and you know girls yeah like yeah girls, girls yeah. are bad so girls. you better not like girly things exactly and i think like my other thing too was like i went through this like tomboy phase and like looking back now don't know if i was like trying to be a tomboy or if it was just me being the bike queen you don't know <laughs> you don't know but i also like lived with three boys and so yeah. that was like my entire and they were always always picking on me always making mm. fun just poking fun and poking fun and i like to perform when i was younger too when i would stand in front of the um the refrigerator or like the dishwasher because i could see my reflection and just oh. dance in it and like see myself and do the thing and that was like and i stopped doing it because they were like look at how stupid you look like da, da, da. and like they were kids too so like whatever it's fine but i remember being seeing that and like hearing that and being like oh okay i need to like yeah, I need to t- I need to tone it down. Yeah, I need yeah. to like real that and let me get some baseball cards and like yeah. I don't care about baseball. And <laughs> and that's I was like that too where I was so afraid of being a try hard and that people knowing I cared about things that I I would almost not even try, right? right. Like I I think I've accepted I am a try hard. I try hard at things I do. I'm a passionate person. I am a pretty motivated person, but that's not a bad thing. No. Like I remember, you know, those two, my, I really, I really had like two years of high school because that I did independent study, but my, my freshman, sophomore year, I was the girl who, you know, organized the class t-shirts and, you know, made all the plans. I was the, the organizer, the planner. And I remember like my friends, you know, kind of joking, but being like, huh, Sierra, the try hard. Like I would always sit in the front at class, Sierra, the try hard. And I, I think I fought back against that and then I stopped trying Mm -hmm. and I'm like that's so sad like where do you think that's from do you think kids are just told like to be cool like you just do you know it just or does is I I don't understand like because that's such a real thing and I too was that person who I was in the front of the class I wanted to do this I wanted to literally try but I remember like you said getting bullied and just being like why do you care so much and I'm like I was that girl I was like ugh, here she goes (laughs) look at all these try hards over there Absolutely and it's like, why do you even care? And I'm like, um, I don't know. I don't but know. I should probably rethink about why I care so much. And mm, I really right. try to be cool. And I and, and and which I think made me be like, I'm easygoing. And then I, you know, you stop talking about your opinions. And you're like, what do you think? Oh, whatever. I'm chill. I'm chill. Yeah. Whatever. I am not chill. Yeah. I think I used to try. <laughs> I think I used to try to pretend to be chill. I am very much not chill. But that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I think, well, trying hard is a clue that you care yeah. about whatever it is you're trying to do well. And when you're 13 through 18, uh, the only thing that you care about is being cool. Yeah. Trying right. hard and caring about things is not what we're doing when we're 13 to 18 or plus. Yeah. You know, like, we're just... We're just here. We're having a good time. Like, All right. We had to take a quick pause to uh, reset the camera, but um, we want to play a little game to finish out the podcast. Um, so we're going to play Never Have I Ever. We each chose three questions. Um, so I think there'll be some uh, fun stories to be told <laughs> yes. from these. Um, who wants to go first? Me, 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 me. Okay, Paloma. <laughs> go. Oh in, my God, try hard? You I was, go first? I was just going to say, in classic try hard form, <laughs> Never Have I Ever ditch class or skip school oh um isn't the game you drink if you have or have oh yeah <laughs> yeah you, wait you drink if you have or you drink if you haven't you drink you if drink you if have. you have oh, okay. ryan's audi- just yeah. chugging audio oh, listeners call. ryan just chugged i never i never skipped school like i never left campus or anything because mm-hmm. i was like 
not about that. I just well, also my mom is a teacher and she was working at the school. Like literally, behind. so I wasn't not your mom on campus. I know, yeah. not on campus, girl. <laughs> behind the campus. Um, but I like have ditched class and just like I would ditch class and go to the drama the drama room. Oh Typical. yeah, I and think just, I pro- like, actually I probably did do that. Yeah, but I didn't like ditch school to like. I got in trouble though. Oh yeah, yeah, because they would like if, mark me absent, like call my mom and stuff. And, and your like, mom's like, she'd be like, um, hello. And, and I was like, I was, I was at away. school. Like, well, I was, that's, I was good at school. For, that's good for us. We never really like ditched it. Like I'm talking, like I remember oh, my like friends were like, oh, you want I did like senior ditch day. That's, yeah. I feel like that's, you know, with its own right, territory. Right, but like yeah. if Passage. I'm in middle school or high school and they're like, you want to go to the movies instead? I'm like, oh. people call my mom. My mom will kill me. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no, no. Not just like the principal, but in addition, my mother. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. No, nothing, never that bad, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at us good. I know. Oh, look at us little try hard. Try hard. <laughs> Two try hards and the main character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Ryan, you want to go next? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Never have I ever owned a pair of Uggs. I literally almost just said the F word into the mic. <laughs> and I don't even curse. I, I, you know what? I just, fuck. <laughs> I, do I have to drink for every pair of Uggs I've owned? Because I will be blacked out I, on the floor. <laughs> You owned one in every color, didn't you? Did you did you did you know this? Oh, this was this was before we met. Um, I was the Uggs with shorts girl at my school. I wore pretty much every day Abercrombie short shorts with Ugg boots. Stop that was it. my look. Mm. That was patented, trademarked right. my look. And I think uh, I definitely had left that behind because we met, I think, my our junior year. Yes. And we, we didn't go to the same school, but through like community Computer, theater. Yeah, yeah. So I had left that look behind. Mm. Um, so unfortunately, you didn't get to see oh it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. As the kids call it, chuggy. Yes. <laughs> I am so chuggy. I are. I am really chuggy. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Right? Right? I am just like other girls. Yeah. You mm-hmm. are. I you am. are. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually really curious to hear you guys' answers on this one because I feel like this is always something that I wanted as a teenager and I never had. Never have I ever had a vacation fling. So like, you know, like gone gone on a trip, met someone, had a, oh, we don't talk about it. <laughs> we don't talk about who? Bro, no, 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 no. <laughs> you guys, tell me why it was on the radio on the drive up from LA. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was right after uh, Doja. Doja Cat. <laughs> they were like, and we're going to play, uh, we don't talk about Is it no, like no. a remix or just no. No. They, straight Lin Manuel Miranda? Doja was slaying it. And then they're like, uh, anyways, next is We Don't Talk About Bruno. I'm like, we were like, hello? <laughs> Did you change the channel? And obviously we turned it up. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> great. Right. It's a great song. It is. It is. It's also so clear that Lin wrote it. Um, as like a theater person it was so fun because Kenzie isn't you guys know Kenzie's right, not a theater right. person I was like she was telling me how much her kids love in content I was like oh did you know Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote it and she was like what no oh she, girl she was like as shocked. soon as it started the movie I was like it's it's just his rhythm just it, the way about it, 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 it the rapping it yeah. feels like he wrote Bruno for himself yes right he looks like Bruno. Are we not going to talk about that? When he first right. came on the screen, I was like, I bet you this is going to be voiced over by Lynn manuel And I thought, looks like I thought it was at I first. Thought, and do you I think was he like, tried? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, for it's sure. It's his picture on Twitter right now. I know what he's doing. I'm <laughs> Oh, my you. God, it is? Yes. That is so funny. <laughs> That's so good. That's so funny. That's totally his, like, self-insert character. Absolutely. And then Disney was like, so we're going to um do some casting. And he was like, excuse like, me, I got, what? He's like, I got it already. Yeah, yeah right? Ha- here it is. Yeah, I wrote it. It's yeah, for me. It's for me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one of the things I love about him is in an interview, he said, like, oh, why did you start writing musicals? And he was like, I started writing musicals because I'm not talented enough to play the leads and all the other. Like, I couldn't. I didn't have the vocal chops. For like oh, these other Broadway shows, so I wrote ones that I could sing, and that's why the leads in his show always have the less demanding vocal parts. And for that, I love it. I was gonna say smart. I should do something like that. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> okay, we got <laughs> got on a little tangent there. Um, but next, your next uh, never have I ever. All right, ladies, never have I ever been on a yacht. I have. Oh my I gosh, have. Sierra, sip Dude, on that, too. girl. I am dying to be on one. When no, I was in middle school, I had school. an a, a, <laughs> okay. First of all, <laughs> I had an acquaintance who was like very wealthy. We weren't like super close, so I didn't. I only went on it one time. She had like a like a birthday party where she got to bring like ten friends on her dad's mm. yacht. And let me just tell you, that was like the second best birthday party I've ever been to. 
first being my friend's bat mitzvah. That was the best party. Dude, bat mitzvahs go so hard. They go hard. so hard. It's literally, it was literally like better than most weddings I've been mm-hmm. to. <laughs> no, I it is, it is just as big as a wedding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Anyways, so that's that's the time I've been on a yacht. <laughs> but wait, now, do you, I'm just like dying to go on a yacht and I don't know if I have to wait till my 30th birthday or what's the big celebration to go on a yacht. But I've like always seen Meryl Streep on there, you know, like, right. yeah, I started with like money, money. I'm like, <laughs> right. I need to be here. Right. We need to find, we need a friend with a yacht. Okay. Right. Or we can, we just rent a yacht and then we need a podcast from oh the, yacht. the yacht. Oh my God. A yacht cast. Comment if you want us to podcast Tell from us, the yacht. Give, yes. give us a reason. <laughs> To a find yacht a yacht. <laughs> yacht. There I am. I'm like, I, I get on the yacht five minutes later. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't know I was seasick. <laughs> right, 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 right. That is Could so you imagine? Yeah. And uh, hold on, please hold for sound. <laughs> yeah. Hold for sound. Hold for sound. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever mm-hmm. backed out of a dare. Oh, Unless, I've... disclaimer, I only backed out if I was going to get hurt or okay. it had something to do with the law. But everything else, free game. I most certainly have. Yeah. The try hard. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. sad. Yeah, I was that girl who was like, truth or dare? Dare. Oh, no, but I'm not going to do that one. Okay, here's another dare. Oh, but not That's that one. so annoying. <laughs> like, I, I know. It's so, I like, I wanted to be the girl who wanted to do the dares, but I, like, didn't want to get in trouble. Right. right. So, like, I would, I would do the dares of, like, go jump in the pool at two in the morning. Go run in the backyard. Like, I would do that, right. but I wasn't going to be, like, getting in trouble. Right. Wait, so, can I ask, what is, like, one of the, like, toughest dares that you considered maybe not doing? Oh, yeah. Mm. Like, what was a hard dare for you to do? Like, maybe I won't. To keep that the badge court. of honor to be the one who hasn't turned down a dare. I was literally, I think I was 12 or 13, and I was having a sleepover with my friends. But the friend that we were sleeping over at had a brother who was, like, 16. And I was like, he is so cute. Like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. And there was, like, five of us, and they were like, we dare you to go up and knock on his door and ask him out. <gasps> and I was like, absolutely no I can't I can't I can't Ryan do it do it do it I was like I can't like this boy is 16 like I just I just can't like I just can't and they were like okay well guess she's not gonna do it so and that that alone made you do it I was like all right say less (laughs) and I was like went into the mirror got myself together and I was like so um there's like this movie and it was so I don't even know what I said but it was like not real words because I was like you blocked out I yeah. totally <laughs> did but uh-huh. I did it and, and the girls were like <laughs> they were screaming and what did what's his response did he, he just giggle like, like okay like it was like oh yeah like oh, it was like cute. okay he was like all right yeah. I see what you're yeah. doing which like thank god because he really could have been mean to me okay Sierra okay um never have i ever gosh what was my next one? Oh, oh, okay never have i ever cut my own hair i've cut my own bangs so i'll put that little asterisk never cut my own hair other than the bangs girl you have cut your own hair you literally shave your head every day that's why i drank <laughs> oh if we do do it. you oh, drink right. if you have yeah. me are you confused <laughs> i was i was confused okay. her, and i'm like why is she like, drinking she me, literally why are you coming for me <laughs> no che- yeah, cheers. No, cheers i have two the pandemic brought me there i Obviously couldn't see my hairstylist, and I was in L.A., and there I was checking on YouTube how to make curtain bangs Yeah, with my school scissors. How so, did it turn out? Oh, girl. <laughs> I, I had to go to my lady really short after. <laughs> I was like, all right, maybe we go outside. Yeah, maybe we go <laughs> and outside. And get this settled. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have, I mean, I've been shaving my head myself for like the past two-ish years. When you first cut your hair, did you shave it yourself, or did you kind of like... I, I didn't do it, but I didn't go. I went to Okay, you a had a porch. friend. Oh. Yes, it was a drunk decision. <laughs> um, and it, it literally went from zero to 100. Like, I had hair probably to hear for the yeah. viewers or for the listeners, like shoulder length. And I was like, you know, I've had enough. Just shave it all. <laughs> Done. Off. Literally all It really it. was not planned. Like, it was just like, no. hey, girl, guess what I did? I'm bald. <laughs> <laughs> it was really like that. Yep. And then I grew it out and kind of went, did the back and forth thing. But now I shave it every, like, two to three weeks. So Yeah. That, and that's great that you do it yourself. That yeah. probably saves so much money. Totally. My arms are broken afterwards, <laughs> but you know. That's Paloma doesn't do it for you? <laughs> oh my God. I would not trust yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, oh, oh, come on. But she's a try I, hard. I would she's do not so well. She'd probably look it up, figure out how to do it. Okay, T, you oh want to do gosh. it next time? I would absolutely love Wait, to now try. you guys have to make like a, like a YouTube video. Oh, absolutely. Okay, we will. Okay, done. That's iconic. <laughs> <laughs> Which, done. By the way, <laughs> forgot to say this, this at the beginning, but uh, Ryan has a YouTube channel, so I'm going to link it in the description, and then I'm also going to link both of their Instagrams. So follow them, support them. They are great, of course. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Never have I ever pulled an all-nighter. And I've tried so many Wait. times, you guys. 
You have it? No. Oh my god. No, I'm a sleepy girl. She gets like you know, it would hit around like <laughs> two thirty AM and I'm just like, really want to, really, but I just never the closest I ever did was honestly like back in back in the day I used to work at Aeropostal <laughs> and they made us do the Black Friday thing, right? And they were like, All right, well you have to show up at ten PM all the way until the next morning and I only worked till like six AM and then completely crash, but uh, that, I don't think right. that consider con- is considered an all nighter, you know? Like I feel like an all nighter has to be like with your girlfriend. With your friends. And like we have in to the stay living up room, in yeah. the living room. Yeah. I wonder if I could even do that now at 26. Like I, when I was in a teenager, we used to pull all nighters, like you know, in the summer, like every other weekend, and we'd stay up all night. Like especially with, to. with my theater friends, like we would, you know, the after the last night of the show, sleep over at my parents' house. Right. My my parents never let boys sleep over unless they were theater boys. And then the theater <laughs> boys were fine as long as it was the group. Right. So right, like right, we'd right. have the group of you know like 15, 20 of the like our friends in the cast come do a sleepover. We'd stay up all night and then go to mcdonald's in the morning and like it was so fun but i don't know if i could do it now like i think i would just fall asleep i think i would too i mean mm. maybe if we i don't know we could try it know. we should try oh, it yeah oh my gosh. we should yeah we should but how do you as 26 year olds <laughs> i would love that <laughs> Do you just like talk? Like how do how would we keep each other awake? Do we just talk and you, watch a movie? Well, I was gonna say you just have to keep okay. each other awake. Well, that's the tough yeah. part. At like three a.m., you're like, all right, girl, will entertain me because Twilight's right. gonna put me to bed. If we planned activities, because right, we couldn't. We'd fall asleep if we watched a movie. We'd have to plan activities. So like, we're gonna like, what are the classic like sleepover? Pool. I feel like pool. I, yeah. I feel like comment comment and yeah. tell us how we mm. could stay up all night. Like, look what, at you driving that engagement. <laughs> She's an influencer. <laughs> 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 But right, we'd have to plan activities. Right. Oh, oh, we could do like puffy paint pillowcases. Did you guys ever do that? Yes. yes. Puffy paint pillowcases. Yes. Obviously baking cookies. That's yes, baking cookies, tie dye t-shirts, freezing our bras. Absolutely. Yes. Except yes. I think nowadays, like that would just hurt my nipples. Especially after yeah. breastfeeding. Oh like God, I would yeah. not want to do that. that. No, no. Yeah. No, no, Girl. No, no, no. So maybe not the frozen bra. Or making like weird concoctions in the kitchen and then making oh your friends God, eat them. Yes. <laughs> and then obviously like prank calling. <gasps> Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Who would we prank call? I would prank call everyone. Anyone. <laughs> oh. Anybody. Yeah, let's let's reveal later. Jess yeah, is gonna get a call at two in the morning <laughs> yeah, next it's week. Gonna be us like, oh, is like, your refrigerator running? I'm putting my phone on silent now. <laughs> <laughs> She's like blocking the three of your numbers. Right. <laughs> okay, Ryan. Next one. Okay. Last one. Last one. Never have I ever been the lead in the musical. That is a crime against humanity. <laughs> I'm we need to see that. Yeah. And and is what? Oh yeah, I should drink. I said I have you <laughs> and you. Yeah. Well, there are I think are a few reasons for that. Everything we've already discussed just about like growing up and doing the whole thing. And I was so like crippled by my own fear of mm-hmm. like really being vulnerable and like singing and like doing that whole thing that I was like, I'm just gonna You were hang afraid to bed. try hard. Is that what you're saying? Oh no. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah obviously that needs to happen. You need to play the lead in a musical. I would love to. What are your dream lead roles? Hmm. My first one would literally be Aida in Aida. Mm. Oh my god! Like I would love, 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 love. I would love. Yeah. Um, and then. Do not even like forget about waitress. <gasps> Jenna. Oh yeah. Oh my okay. gosh. Yeah. You'd be such a I good want to I, like I to want Jenna. her to play Jenna so badly. Yeah. It's it, Which it's is a must so have. funny because I'm like, no, I can't. So I learned the other part. The black part, I learned it. And I know the song and I do it for auditions all the time. But Girl. you would rather play Jenna. Yeah, but I would rather play yeah. Jenna. Yeah. And and so you should play Jenna. I should play you Jenna. You should. You saw the first like black Jenna on Broadway I did. as well. I did. Leslie Odom Jr.'s wife oh, played really? Jenna and she was incredible. And oh I like stage Jordan did the whole thing and I was like, You're so good. Like I'm so inspired. It was a whole thing. Aww. Yeah. That's so sweet. I know. And I was like twenty two. Like I was an adult. Yeah. Yeah. But then that proves that representation doesn't just matter for kids. Right. It matters for adults, too. Right. Totally. I feel like we could do a whole podcast on stage door experiences. Absolutely. Because I've had some interesting ones. I had some. Not so good. <laughs> not so good and also great ones. Yes. 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 Also very. Yeah. I don't want to yes. just highlight the bad. Lots of yes. great ones. Yes. So Jenna and Waitress. Yeah. Um, do you have any other uh, dream roles? R- whether they're leads or, or not. Yeah. I would love to play Mimi and Rent. <gasps> like, I just also Rent's like one of my favorites. Yeah. Vanessa and In the Heights. Mm-hmm. Angelica Schuyler Hamilton mm-hmm. like you know there's so many yeah there's so many yeah there's a million yeah 
Also, I really want to see her blonde wig. So somebody put her in Mean Girls as Regina. <gasps> oh my god! Oh Bogley, my god! Could you Bogley imagine? Help. I was but gonna say, I, do you think you could do World Burn? No, 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 no. That is. No. I feel like you could <laughs> drop the octave. Yeah, but if I want to do it, I want to like do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to yeah. like do it. But I do look pretty great in a blonde wig. Regina, yeah. Show some photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can do a blonde wig, y'all. What about Elle Woods? Can't sing that either, but um, would love to just like pretend, yeah. do a photo shoot and like pretend I'm Elle Woods. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do a TikTok dance. Yeah. Lip sync. 100%. <laughs> and yes. legally, you wanted to be Paulette, right? Like that's, if, if you wanted to yeah. Audrey audition, you would want to do that. For sure. And we can fight for yeah. it because that's one of my dream roles oh. too. Oh, ah! take it, bro. Take it. Here's the thing. Elle, Paulette. I'll do Brooke Windham again. That was a great time. Yeah, I there could you kill go. a jump rope. Like, that oh, was fun. Oh, yeah, with your dance experience, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, Incredible. And also that court, just getting through that number. I-, I remember standing on the wings watching that. That's one of those dance numbers that you, something could go wrong. It's like in high school, oh, school God, where you yeah. have live balls or live props and you Not have to dance balls. with them. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. We- <laughs> and it's like those jump ropes it's like anything could go wrong you know every you know yeah. you could just know the choreography but one wrong move and that jump rope you know you t- it's I, gone. It's I remember being audience. on the side just like watching that every time like yes they killed it yeah yeah, yeah. it's like working with kids or pets yeah yes <laughs> yeah you're yeah. like mm, hope you get it uh, yeah we'll see uh paloma do you have any dream roles that you haven't played a million go <laughs> <laughs> i'm dying to be go ahead anita Mm. really you think duh I really and, and I say that because I've already removed that from my mind and I, I'm, I I'm gonna be honest because I've auditioned for Anita I've gotten callbacks and then they are like I'm so sorry you don't really look as much the part and I've already accepted that I don't look Latina enough which sucks because I'm like this is a Latin show and I really could you know be in it but yeah. Yeah. but I what can you do so Morales I, oh my gosh also. I would love to be in a chorus line mm. I, I I would love to be Diana Morales. That would be incredible. And also Mean Girls, too. I just want to be in that musical. I don't know who I would play, but Katie. I just love. Oh, my god! <gasps> actually, that would be fun. Yeah, you'd be a really good That's Katie. That's actually a good I-, I love that. Okay. I want to be Katie and Mean Girls. <laughs> Write that down. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> also, Anna in Frozen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. You have Because you have such a princess voice. Oh, thank you so much. You do. You're so kind. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the freckles for me. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Um, I mean, I know you've kind of removed yourself from theater a little bit, but. Yeah, but not forever. I'll definitely go back. And you know what I always say? I, so we talked a little bit about archetypes. I think my archetype is the, uh, like, charismatic slash crazy slash over the top older woman. Mm. So, like, the Madame Thenardier, the, like, those kind of roles, you know, the more character roles, like. That is kind of my archetype, like, look-wise and also, like, acting-wise. But also, those are the roles I have the most fun playing. Right. Yeah. Like, I, my, my, the most fun I've had in, in theater is doing those kind of roles. So, like, I would love to be Paulette. I'd love to do Madame Chenardier. I would really, really love also, um, kind of on the, op- like, more serious acting side, I would really love to play Diana in Next to Normal because I have bipolar Ooh. disorder. Oh my and God, And so, so good. growing up, Natalie was always the dream role, right? right? For, like, every teenage girl. Right. But as I've gotten older, the shift has become, I'm not so much Natalie anymore as I am Diana. Yeah. And so, I think that is one of those roles where I'm like, I think from my own personal experience living with bipolar disorder, I could bring a lot to that role. Yeah. But again, that's that role, that character is in her 40s. So, like, right. I, I can come back to theater in 20 years and play that role. Yep. Which is what I hope to do yeah, yeah, i yeah. literally got chills over here mm. thinking about like ye- that incredible experience like oh my gosh i would, put, I would pay so a lot much. of money to see that uh, let me just say so Thanks. so somebody put that together yeah, also yeah. i would love to play miss darbus in high school musical. oh my god oh my Imagine. gosh could you she would like glass <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah. With theater the- is a temple of the arts oh my gosh, that was so well, why was good. that better than the original girl? Sorry, girl. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> so those are those are my dream roles. All right. Uh, so my last never have I ever question. We touched on this in the intro. I'm bringing it back. We're going full circle. Um, never have I ever looked at my horoscope. Get out your face. <laughs> you have it right here. Am I gonna look it up right now? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. We have to. And and like now that we know she's an Aquarius, right? We just have to like tell her like the main characteristics and what yeah but we gotta put it and you said horoscope is the daily thing right that's yes. like today you will xyz but like your birth chart which will tell you like your sun sign your moon sign you that's know, the your big three sign. right that's the big okay three. i see that on tiktok that's the big three. Yeah. so your sun sign is like what literally what you were born 
you're an Aquarius. Okay. So you do have char- characteristics of that. Your moon sign is like your emotional, like mm. the, how you really feel. Okay. And then your rising sign is how you present yourself. To it's people. like your face, right? right. Oh. Yeah, it's like okay. the mask. Okay, mm-hmm. the mask. Call okay, so the mask. Bill, all Do you know what time you were born, Sierra? Um, Roughly. Like I know the hour, but I don't know like the exact time. Do I need that? Oh, yeah. no, just no, the like, hour. R- yeah, just r- r- Time of day. Okay. Let's see. We're going to pause and come back to it so there's not tense, 10 <laughs> minutes of silence when we're figuring this out. Hot Stam, New York. Oh, I'm going to put that What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my dad was in grad school. You. Yeah. What? In upstate New York, yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Not you being in New York. Either. I know. Wow. I actually joke about that all the time when I go to New York. I'm like, oh, I'm home. I literally lived in <laughs> upstate New York for coastal. six months. That's so funny. <laughs> Here you go. Here's okay. my report. Okay. You want to read it? Yeah, let's see. I got to scroll a bit. Now from the top. Make it stop. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> it is. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Am I about to do oh. some self discovery here? Uh, you might. You're gonna be like that explains so much. Okay. Okay. Obviously, we know sun sign Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Moon sign. Drum roll, please. Gemini. <gasps> what does that mean? That means a lot. <laughs> Hold on. That. <laughs> yeah, that means a lot. Okay. Okay. Let me get your rising. And the moon sign is the public facing. No, no. The moon sign is how you how you really how feel. You really feel. Okay. Ascendant sign, rising sign. Okay. Capricorn. Ah. Uh-huh. Which I fully so absolutely. Get it. You definitely present that. Giving totally. That. You're definitely giving that. Totally. Yeah. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Short version. Capricorn. Well, Capricorn's earth sign. Okay. Capricorn is how I present myself. Yes. Okay. So, and it's how you yeah you come across to people like. Okay. Capricorns are known for being like really, really hard workers, like okay. really hard workers, almost to a fault. Oh, like I'm working so hard. And what are you doing? Sleeping? Mm. I don't sleep. I work. I used to have a really toxic relationship with productivity. And it's only been like the past two years that I've been able to be like, nope, my worth is not my productivity. It's OK not to get everything done on my to do list. Like, but that was a huge part of my personality was like. I, I'm a hard How worker. I'm, I'm on the grind. Right. Yeah. Well, isn't that funny? That isn't that funny? Yeah. Obviously, a lot of people have a lot to say about Gemini's. I, for one. You say obviously, just, you know, oh. literally never heard a thing about what oh. it means to be a Gemini. Majority of people really, really hate Gemini's and talk mm. a lot about them. They badly. get a lot of hate. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I have I have a Gemini rising, so I get it. But I, I like Gemini's. Okay. I don't have. So now, what's the, the problem? What What is the issue with the Gemini's? Um, Gemini's are multifaceted, and people like to call them two faced. Oh. When sometimes, obviously, yeah, people can be. See, I feel like I I I'm like the opposite of that, where I can't hide my emotions to a detriment. Mm. Like I just I cannot turn it off. Like okay. I I really struggle with like fixing the face. Yeah. Yeah. Holding, <laughs> like she's like, if I'm upset, I'm upset. Yes. Right. right yes. Right. Like, oh, yeah. Interesting. Well, we'll have to dive into yeah, we'll that. Have to dive in. that, could, that could be its whole own other podcast. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, which actually we are going to film another podcast tomorrow. Uh, the three of us, because tonight we are finishing Twilight. We're watching Breaking Dawn part two, and we are going to do a whole Twilight podcast, a deep dive. I have so many questions already that I've been writing yes. down. Uh, we watched the first one together. Uh, if you guys saw that vlog, I'll put a card for it up there. Um, and then I watched the, wait, let's see if I can say it, uh, New Moon. Yes. And then uh, Eclipse. Yes. And then Breaking Dawn Part 1, all with Kenzie. Nice. Um, and so tonight, we are having a girls night. It's going to be the three of us, plus Jess, plus uh, Kenzie. And then also editor Rachel is coming. So it's going to be like a whole team night um and we're gonna watch breaking dawn part two and then tomorrow the three of us are gonna podcast all about it we're gonna hash it out yes oh my goodness where to begin (sighs) which i'll just give a little a little precursor now that i've now that i've seen what happens to jacob after he becomes a werewolf Mm -hmm. i am not team jacob oh my god i ugh. thank god thank god she's back but i (laughs) we can be her friend now (laughs) had jacob never become a werewolf i would still be team jacob because i think all of his like issues came from him becoming a werewolf like he was a, a perfectly good person before that, so I bl- I blame the werewolfness. Mm. Anyways, we'll get into that. Much to think about. Let's <laughs> look. Agree, let's let's but, see how that uh, un- unravels. In yeah, the next as movie. we yes. yes, yes, yes. Very yes. unfiltered. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uncut jam. Uncut jam. Uncut jam. You guys. <laughs> 
All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Follow Ryan and Paloma on Instagram. Subscribe to Sierra Unfiltered. Give us five stars on Apple Podcasts. All the things. Look, I, I still got it. No, you. I, it hasn't been two years. Back in the game. Back in the frame. Back the hell out of my way. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> Mr. You're fired. Yeah. Guess who I hired? Who? To represent me. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta be. be. Yeah, you gotta be. Yeah, you gotta be. Indubitably. Legally blonde. Cause she's legally blonde. Oh, yeah. Legally blonde. Cause she's legally blonde. Oh, yeah. Legally blonde. Cause she's legally blonde. Oh, yeah. Hopefully Grace isn't napping. Legally blonde. Oh, yeah.